Hi there, I'm Rick Todd, Network Center. Um, today I'm going to show you about the Microsoft's LAP solution, the local administrator password solution released just this past summer. Uh, those of you that are worried about security in your environment and uh, maybe have some distributed in environments are, are probably going to be interested in what I'm going to show you. Uh, here today, I've just got a little lab built up in, in Microsoft Azure to kind of help me work, uh, create a little fun lab that I can use to break stuff without breaking stuff. Well, the good news is, it's all working. So uh, simple deployment. I've got a domain controller here um, that you can see. And then I've got two workstations, uh, two Windows 7 workstations um, that both have uh, Microsoft LAPS installed and, and deployed. Uh, the good thing about this is LAPS is a free solution and uh, it's a very, very quick duration project in order to get it implemented into your environment. Of course, we can help you with that. Uh, with that, I'll kind of jump into it a little bit. You can see I've got a Windows 7 workstation here. Uh, both are the same, and uh, both workstations have what uh, would be considered sort of a normal environment. Uh, I always find myself clicking in the wrong darn place. All right, we're going to manage this bad boy. And in here, you'll see our local users and user groups. Uh, our administrator group, again, this is the local administrator, not your domain administrator account, uh, but a local administrator. Uh, disregard the RTOD account that's there for uh, cloud purposes, uh, would be uh, atypical of your environment. Of course, we got our domain admins accounts that are uh, local administrators, and then our local admin account. Now, I went ahead and used a, a customized local admin account. That's not abnormal in a lot of environments, but in some cases, that may just be a simple administrator. Um, but in this instance, both workstations have this local underscore admin account in order to illustrate what we're doing here. Um, so initially, when I created these PCs in the cloud, they had a password of password123 or capital P, password123. Um, not an uncommon password. Password, you know, there's a number of passwords that would, could be used out there. Um, Pretty simple, generic thing. But ultimately, what ends up happening over the course of time is, is those, those passwords sit out there in age. And of course, you know, we, we don't have the time to get around to them. And maybe you have one or two. And then maybe what ends up happening is, is an employee leaves your, your, your uh, business or, or your organization. Or maybe you've had a breach and you need to very quickly change all these passwords. You know, maybe it's not such a big deal if it's five PCs or three PCs and, and a server. But imagine if you had 15 servers or you know five servers even and, and 20 workstations and then they're geographically all over the place. They're just sort of everywhere. Well, what this allows you to do, I'll go back to the uh, domain controller here. This solution actually gives the workstations and PCs and or servers the ability to manage their own password. Um, and why that's critical is because that means that for every machine that this policy is applied to, this allows you to have a unique uh, randomized password that changed within a given period of time. Um, I'll cover the, uh, I'll cover what it looks like right here. So here's, here's actually the GUI. We'll pull it up. Pretty simple. Um, and in this case, I'll just use one of my workstations and we will search for it and you'll see if I needed to log into that workstation as a local administrator, um, the under, local underscore admin, before I would have used the password 123 password. But today, I would actually use this. Now, what's cool about that is I'll actually search for the W workstation 2, and it's a different password. So important distinction, in the old way, the way that it was before, it would be whatever password it was set, it would sit there and it would age. But in this particular instance, using the LAP solution, come March 20th and then 30 days after that and so on and so forth, this password right here will be randomized for every machine um, that's on the network. And it's a simple centralized management solution for that local administration password. I hope this has been really descriptive, help you get an idea of what, what this might do for you. Um, if you'd like to take a look at it deeper and have us uh, implement it for you, give us a call, get in touch with your salesperson. I'm sure they'd be happy to talk to you. I'm Rick Todd from Network Center. Have a great day.